Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for, you know, the next seven days. So this just came out, came flying out. Moon, changes in your life. So you are going to be going through some changes in your life. I'm going to show you what's on the bottom because I just looked at it. I'm not going to take the card off because I don't have to keep going. Clouds, temporary problems. So you may be going through some temporary problems right now. Um, but whatever's happening is causing some changes in your life, okay? You may be a little fearful of whatever is happening because, you know, changes can be scary. So what do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may not be for you, okay? Mm. Opportunities in the palm of your hand. So you do have a golden opportunity if that is in the palm of your hand, okay? What do we have for Libra? Mmm. You have been ignoring your gut. You have been ignoring your gut. You have an opportunity in the palm of your hand that can probably change your life, okay? So let's get one of these. What do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? The Sun, the Sun. So the Sun is beautiful, it's a beautiful new day. It's bright, it's a bright future. It's happiness, it's bliss. Okay, it's a, it's a, could be news of a child. I mean, the sun is very beautiful, healing energy, glowing, shining. And so this is a breakthrough of some sort, vibrating at a very, very high level. So it's a very healing energy, beautiful, very beautiful, warm place, uh, happiness. Very happy, happy. Whatever is happening uh, is bringing you something, is bringing you towards happiness. You may not know it, but it is. And I say you may not know it because right before that is, you've been ignoring your gut, so you may not know it, okay? Happiness is a beautiful new beginning. It's a new life. It's a life-giving energy. So what do we have for Libra? You do have a golden opportunity in the palm of your hand that could make you very, very happy. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a, a Leo. You've been ignoring your gut. You may receive some clarity because the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun uh, shines. You know, makes things clear. You know, it brings you out of a darkness. Okay, it shows things. So something, you may be gaining some sort of clarity this week, which you've been ignoring. Enthusiasm, self-expression, inspiring others, self-confidence, success, sharing, a positive response. The sun card is a positive response as well. So you are definitely going to, you may be even in the spotlight. You're probably, well, it is Libra season, right? So you're probably growing or glowing. Well, sun is a period of growth as well. I think we're still in Mercury retrograde, so I really still can't speak. But um, you are going through a period of growth. Um, you are probably looking really, really, really good. Okay, I think you're vibrating at a very high level. You're probably inspiring others. People are looking up to you because people look up to the sun. So you are in a very beautiful space, okay? You're in a beautiful spot, okay? You're illuminating at, some, at this point. That's what it looks like to me. And I feel like you are getting positive response from people around you. Um, you do have an opportunity in the palm of your hand. Um, I've been ignoring.
ignoring your gut in some situation. There's going to be a change in your life. It's hidden right now because the moon is the darkness. And it's interesting because we start with the moon and then it moves along. You've been ignoring your gut, which is still again the moon. Okay, and you, you gain some sort of clarity. You're coming out of a dark period. You are. Page of Cups reversed. First card out. The moon. Oh, no, no way. Go figure. All is not as it seems. There's some sort of hidden forces here. There could even be illusion. Shadow, you know, uh, all is not as it seems. This is proceed with caution. All is not as it seems. And this is looking at the page of cups reversed. You may have your heart set on somebody that is literally emotionally unavailable. We may have somebody here that's in a state of illusion. I gotta be honest with you because that's what the moon is. The moon is the shadow, okay? What you see is not what you get, okay? Somebody, and the moon is about illusion. So anyhow, it's looking at, it's looking right at the page of cups reversed. The page of cups reversed is somebody that is, you know, you may have your heart on, set on somebody that is emotionally unavailable. This person, you know, this could be a rejection. This could be a bubble burst. This could be a one-sided situation, um, a need to, I think there's a reality check that is needed because the ace of pentacles up there is a reality check. But anyhow, Page of Cups reverse. That could be tears, sadness, rejection. All is not as it seems. Five of Coins after the moon. So this is abandonment, right? This is neglect. It's feeling shunned. And that's interesting that I said shun instead of sun. So I think that you've been shunned or you're being shunned. You know, you're being ignored or you're feeling, maybe you're, you've, uh, feeling like an outcast, feeling very much alone, um, ghosted. Four of Wands reversed. So the Four of Wands reversed is... Feel, maybe you feel like you don't fit in, you know, or there's problems on the home front or there's neglect. There's probably is neglect with the five of pentacles right next to it. There's neglect. Or there's, a, the, there's no commitment here. There's a lack of commitment. There's a lack of happiness, you know. Um, maybe there's been a cancellation, cancellation, you know, or of, of an engagement or you, or somebody that you had your heart set on is already in a commitment. They're already, they're getting married or that, you know, something like that. Or this could even be a breakup. It could be a separation. This is, uh, the party is over, uh, trouble in paradise. Okay. Trouble in paradise. So there could be trouble on the home front or trouble in a commitment, trouble in a marriage. All is not as it seems. Something is hidden with that moon card and you have it twice. You have it twice. You know, the shadow hides the truth. It hides things, you know, and sometimes, you know, with the moon energy, there's, there's a, a tendency to be, uh, you know, in a state of illusion because it looks good. You know, it looks good or something like that. Um, Sad news with the Page of Cups, okay? Very first card out. So I'm not sure if you've received some sad news. Could have to do with a child or a marriage or a commitment. But there's definitely been some sort of fantasy and illusion here. Not wanting to accept the truth. Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands is an overwhelming energy. This is somebody that has held on. They've been trying to prove that they're not going to give up, that they're going to hold on. So somebody has really been holding on to some sort of baggage, fighting an uphill battle. And it's, it's pointed right at the Page of Cups reverse. It's like holding on to somebody that is emotionally unavailable. This person isn't really giving you the love that you need or you, that you deserve. But I feel like, I feel like you're holding on, you're holding on to it. And it could be because of illusion. It goes, the page of cups reversed, the moon, 
and then the Ten of Wands, that's the little lineup. So this is holding on to some sort of illusion, holding on to our unrequited love situation. Um, sad, it could be sad, there could be even um, getting some bad news about this person. But still holding on, so I'm not sure what you're still holding on to, but you're holding on to something that is weighing you down. Queen of Wands reversed. Could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Uh, this is somebody that may lack respect for others, that is entitled, that is seeks a lot of attention. For some of you, there could be another woman involved, but there's there's ignoring it with the Moon card. There's kind of like ignoring it. I'm just going to ignore it. Um, we may even have somebody here that has some addictions or has some control issues. Um, very controlling, very, very forceful. Um, we have a forceful energy here. It's a feminine energy um, because the moon is connected to the Queen of Wands. The moon is, is a feminine energy. So I think we have a feminine here that is trying to force something. This person may be very controlling. Um, Seven of Swords reversed. Now, the Seven of Swords reversed could be getting caught. You may have somebody here that is getting caught, um, or as we may have somebody here that is doesn't that runs away when the going gets tough. He doesn't want to face the consequences. Doesn't want to face the truth. Um, I feel like we have a very untrustworthy individual here. I don't know if this person has been cheating on their commitment. They've been cheating. I mean, it's right next to the Four of Wands, and then we have the Seven of Swords. The Four of Wands is reversed, and the Seven of Swords reversed. So I'm wondering if there's been some extremes here. If somebody's been engaging with another person, that's what it looks like to me. And this person is already in a commitment. There's This is like a, um, I don't know if we have a home wrecker here that is trying to wreck somebody's partnership. They're trying to wreck some, and, and they don't care. They don't care. Um, they don't care because this per who, this person feels alone. There's feels alone, and they want to win. So this is somebody that's unwilling to give up. They're un because they want to win. This is somebody that is highly, highly, highly competitive. That is unwilling to give up. You know. Um, anyway, Seven of Swords, getting caught, getting caught in a situation. Somebody has ignored. They have ignored their gut. They have ignored their intuition. They've ignored the truth. Um, there's a lack of self-confidence. There's a lack of self-esteem. I feel like you need to find your inner strength. You need to find your courage to accept something. And there's, because the Queen of Wands, if you think about the Queen of Wands, she's the Temperance card, she's the Strength card, she's the Emperor card. You know, she's all that in one. It's in reverse. There's a lack of acceptance here. There's a need to accept, okay? Because the Temperance is reversed, that something is off. Something is off. There's a need, and there's a need for profound self-healing, and there's a need for change. There's a need to find your strength and your courage to make a change and come out of some sort of illusion because it's right next to the moon card. You know, you can't just pretend that everything is okay on the home front or in the marriage or in the commitment when it's not. Especially if there's cheating or there's deception or somebody's already committed or they're already married. You know, you have to accept the truth. Or they're already, they already have a partner. Um, Page of Cups reverse is sad news. It's a rejection. It is a bubble burst. So I think that's what it starts out with some sort of bubble burst or bad news that comes your way. Um, I feel like you're dealing with a, a feminine energy. I don't know if you're even dealing with somebody who has addictions. This person may be obsessed. Uh, there's some, you know, there's some sort of obsession. I feel like there's an obsession here. I feel like we got somebody here that is always plotting and planning. How am I going to get this back? How am I going to get this back? If, if it's not, oh, we got the hero font and reversed. This is a disgrace. It is a disgrace. How am I going to get this back? You can't get it back. Okay. You can't get it back. If there's, if it's unrequited love, if there's, the first card out is the Page of Cups reversed, okay? If it's unrequited love, you have to accept it, okay? Um, seven of Swords reversed. That is getting caught. Getting caught in lies. Lies being revealed. Something is going to be revealed. You're dealing with an individual that is highly, highly, highly competitive. Um, they need attention. They need a lot of attention. So you're dealing with somebody that is like an attention hog, right? Um, 
they probably have a lot of energy around them and they don't plan on letting go of anybody. It feels like this for somebody that is, that is worked hard to get all the admiration that they got and they don't plan on letting it go. Um, but the Hierophant Reverse is dealing with a father figure or a person that is in a posi position of authority that is having a hard time doing the right thing because of society. Um, this is somebody that doesn't follow through, that does the opposite of what they say. Um, this is some sort of disgrace. So we got somebody here that is under a lot of social pressure. They have no intention of making any changes because of the social pressure. There's also been some poor counsel here. Somebody has received poor counsel, poor advice. Instead of just listening to their gut, you know, they've received some poor advice. There's, there's poor guidance, okay? Um, we could have a breakup here with the Hierophant reverse and the Four of Wands reverse. This is like no commitment, the end of a commitment. We have a relationship that is no longer on the same page. Maybe somebody that you've been married to or engaged to or you were in some sort of partnership with. I feel like we definitely have a, a partnership or a relationship with the Hierophant reversed and the Four of Wands reversed that is no longer on the same page. It's, it's somebody that you were, that you were, it's a, a partnership with you and somebody else. So if you're in fantasy land, which I can see that somebody is, and you think it's the person you're waiting on that is struggling with, the, with their other person, that's your illusion, okay? That's your illusion. I can see illusion here, okay? Don't, don't, you know, you got you have your heart set on somebody that is emotionally unavailable. You. Okay? So I feel like you need to uh, focus on your future. You have a golden opportunity in the palm of your hand. You need to accept something. Seven of Swords reverse. There's been some, some, some sort of deception, some sort of lies, some sort of cheating. There has. I feel like you need to find a new approach. You need to let go. You need to come clean. You need to take soul action. You can't keep turning a blind eye. That's what the Seven of Swords is reversed. It's like turning a blind eye to the truth. You can't. You can't. There's some strong control issues here, too, because of that Queen of Wands reverse. Not willing to give up control. Six of Wands reversed. Let me get the Chariot reversed. And the Four of Coins. So the Four of Coins is holding on for security reasons. Holding on. Holding on. So not willing to let go. So somebody is holding on to something. Um... But this is a loss. Six of Wands reverse. That is a fail. It's a loss. There's no progress being made. There's no success. Six of Wands reverse next to the Chariot reversed, okay? Six of Wands upright about victory after sorrow. Uh, chariot upright is about victory, okay? After, you know, dealing with opposition. They're both reversed. There's no victory here. There's no success. There's, there's a need to stop with the chariot reversed. There's a need to stop lying. And I'm not saying that you're that you're the liar, lying to yourself, okay, about this commitment, about this partnership. You need to stop. You need to stop. You have an opportunity for happiness in the palm of your hand. Maybe maybe it's time for you to go to a better place. Maybe maybe it has to do with moving. The sun can be a warm place. I feel and this is the golden opportunity that is in the palm, the last card out. It's interesting that we had it at the beginning in that opportunities in the palm of the hand palm of your hand card but here we got it here too there's a golden opportunity in the palm of your hand for something secure for something solid for something stable to work with somebody else because underneath it is the three of pentacles which is about teamwork togetherness working with somebody else so i think that you you ha you are very capable of success I think that you need to make some compromises, okay? I think that you need to make a compromise, and I feel like you need to make a compromise with yourself, okay? Um, Somebody is going to get caught doing something if they haven't been caught already. And it's going to cause something to come to a dead halt, okay? This is a stop. 
I feel like you're in a situation that you are holding on to just for secure reasons. It feels secure. It feels secure to you. It gives you some sort of secure feeling, okay? But I don't feel it's going to end successfully. It's not. Six of Wands reversed, the Chariot reversed. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is a one-hit wonder. Okay, this person is very cocky and smug. Uh, they're not really experienced. They shouldn't be in the position that they're in. Um, this person, I don't know, maybe they, may, maybe they have a leadership position and it's gone to their head. This person, something has gone to their head. I feel like uh, you need to let go. I feel there is obsession because this is obsession. Four of Pentacles. Somebody is obsessed. They are obsessed with holding on to some baggage. Okay, this is just weighing you down. You're fighting a you're fighting an uphill battle. You need to stop. Okay, I think there's going to be an emotional outburst ahead. The Chariot Reverse. Whoever you're dealing with um, doesn't like to be held accountable for their actions. They do not like to be held accountable for their actions as well. This person is very melodramatic. They may throw a fit. If you question them in any way, you know, they'll run away or they'll turn away or they'll turn it around onto you. Okay, this person, this person does not like to be held accountable for their actions whatsoever. Will throw a hysterical tantrum. So you may be dealing with somebody who throws a tantrum this week. Um... Because maybe, I don't know, maybe you start to see the truth, you see the truth, you question them, and, you know, they throw a fit. They throw a really, really big fit. I also feel like we have somebody here that is ill. Whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, this is somebody that is ill. They're not, they're not healthy at all. Um, maybe they're carrying a lot of weight or they're carrying a lot of stress or, you know, something like that. And they're giving up on the battle. They're giving up. They're giving up. Maybe they're... You know, because this is like no willpower, no drive, no ambition, poor health. So we do have somebody here that poor, has poor health and they've been ignoring it. They've been ignoring their poor health. This could be a, this could be a moment where things change on the uh, health pr front. Because I see getting healthy here. Getting, and that, that could be for you. You may be in a place where you're not healthy and you've been ignoring it and it's time to focus on your health. Maybe it's, you're going to be focusing on your health this week. Um, there is definitely trouble in paradise. Somebody has been ignoring it. There could be another woman here and, you know, trying to hold on for dear life to something that makes you feel secure. Um, I feel like you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you could, or, yeah, it feels like it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You could also be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, there could be uprooting here, not wanting to cause a uh, family disturbance. You know, there's family discord here as well. You know, it's a, it's something, and this is a disgrace. It's publicly embarrassing. So something is, it's a public embarrassment of some sort. And I feel like uh, you're, you're, um, I feel like this is unwelcome news. I feel like you're going to be receiving some unwelcome news. Um, I feel like this changes your life. It actually changes it for the better, but it, when it's happening, I don't think it's going to make you feel good. <laughs> I don't. I think that, you know, you could be even dealing with somebody that, uh, well, I feel like we have somebody here that is not really giving you what you deserve, and you know it, and you know it. But you're ignoring it because of the commitment that you're in with this person or because of the social pressure. You know, what's everybody going to say? This is embarrassing. It feels like you've been, uh, some of you, there's false impressions. There is. There's fault, putting out false impressions that everything is good. That's the four of wands reversed. You know, it looks really good on the outside, but on the inside, it's a mess. It's very, very messy. I feel like there's deceit. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very, very two-faced um, with the sword, seven of swords. I feel like it's, for me, it's a, it's a fire sign. It's a fire sign or it's a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this person um, that you're dealing with has an overinflated ego. 
and they love the attention that they get from everybody that they're getting attention from. This person gets attention from everybody and they love it. They, this is like an attention hog, okay? Um, no success, it's unwelcome news. This is a setback. There could even be some car issues this week. I mean, hopefully there's not. I mean, the chariot reverse, there could be some something something is coming to a stop i also feel like we have somebody here that is very jealous they're very very jealous this person is going to throw a fit they're good there's somebody around you that is so jealous that they're going to throw a fit this is like entitled this person is entitled they're self-centered they're conceited they're losing they're losing something and they don't want to give it up they don't want to give it up they're trying to they don't want to let go and it's time to let go there could even be some malice here there could with the seven of swords reverse and it has something to do with the home you know fighting six of wands reverse it's fighting i think that you're going to be fighting with somebody you are i don't know if it's somebody that you're in a commitment with or somebody that you live with or that you've been in a commitment with this is losing though with the with the chariot reverse and the six of wands reverse it's losing losing One more card. Nine of coins reversed. Oh my God. You must take action. You must take action. The nine of coins reversed is somebody who's not, and it's right next to the four of wands. I wanted to clarify the four of wands reversed. Okay? We have a commitment that is not on the same page, a relationship that's not on the same page. It's like they don't complete you, you complete you. We have an individual here that needs to find their discipline, that is very, very insecure, that must take action. This is not enjoying the good life. It's not. This is like nothing to look forward to because you don't, and for some of you, it's like, well, I really don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. This feels secure to me. Nine of coins reversed. This is somebody who doesn't know their value. So there's somebody here that doesn't know their value. Giving up, giving up, it's time to give up. You must take action. You must find your discipline to enjoy your life the way that you are. Be happy, be happy. You're better off alone than with somebody that doesn't love you, that cheats on you, that lies to you, that plays you, that has another person. I mean, come on now. So I feel like this week you're going to be going through some changes because I think we have a reality check here. Somebody's getting a reality check. Something's coming to a stop. It's coming to a dead stop. This person that is out of control, I feel like there's there's something that's going to happen, okay? It's like they're going to they're getting caught. They're getting caught doing something and it changes everything. Good luck.